We are reporting on a different topic today. A very unusual situation has occurred locally in the Champaign, Illinois area. There's no real reason to take any video at this time because nothing has fully transcribed or transpired in front of our video cameras. What we know about America is that it is full of sexual predators. We know this from the concept of the fact that people like to do things illegal. People like to get away with things they do to people. The liars of America live in the shadow world. They live in the inexpensive hourly wage of a few dollars, a few paltry dollars an hour in the retail establishments of our world. What I can say is this gentleman went down to take a rest at God's request approximately 10.30 at night and when he goes down to sleep he literally is out like a light. It has never been his predilection to be like that but after he had a stay in a marvelous place that was forced upon him by a female judge named Amy Jones he has never been the same. That woman not only did she not have a mental health or psychology or psychologist degree but she just thought she'd keep fucking a man's life who went to the FBI office to stop a hate crime on him and after that she kept ordering all these mental health tests that she was in control of with company men that would harm his records and a company man that works for a sheriff's department in another community tried to screw him into forcing him and to take medication. She also lied in court and refused to tell him what quote-unquote family member was in that courtroom standing against him. Not only did they not get to see that family member, they did not get the name of that family member from their incredibly immature, uneducated, and uncertified lawyer that was assigned as a pro bono lawyer to defend him. You see, we have rights in America and we have rights to be represented by the right people. And while he might have gone after the two or three lawyers ahead of that female who was assigned in the end to participate in his trial, he did not appreciate the fact that that woman had no certification and had not even passed the bar yet, but had been assigned to him. You see, this is the immaturity, this is the unethicalness, and this is the illegalness of a social working court, a mental health allegedly court. And what did they do after that situation? All they did was move her crew to another courtroom. In life we have to speak the truth about the liars of America who take away our rights and our human rights to a fair trial. But here's the problem that we really have now. The gentleman that they locked in a high tower in the men's side of a jail and the people that did that to him have set him up for a constant stream of rape possibilities. You see the guy never had trouble sleeping before, never had trouble waking up at the slightest sound, but now that man is literally being taken out of his clothes practically by total strangers and bitches of the force. So he wakes up and finds himself disheveled with his zipper undone or his pants undone and out of the jacket that he put himself down in to stay warm. So let me ask you, who's to blame? Is it our marvelous Lord above all who sees everything that people do in their illness and their unsophistication and their illegal behavior? Or is it the people who control the jail cells who allow people in and out to abuse someone like Little Monroe? You see, there's always a liar in the land who thinks they have the right to take your information and pass it across America in a social network to the point that it obliterates your life and allows someone else to try to step in, steal your property, and steal your living literally taking your business cards from you, taking your property out of your car, and totally ruining your life. And they probably do it because they're infatuated or impressed or totally interested in the beautiful woman 
that's supposed to be your wife. But let me tell you something. The liars of America like to play into cities, pretending like they're impoverished or they've gone through a struggle, and they pretend like they're bigwigs, and then all of a sudden they have to confess. They have to let people know what's really happened in their life, and so once they do that, they get some compassion, they get some empathy, they get some help, and so Rolodex is opened and given out. Meetings are transpiring, events are happening, and that help that is needed is provided.